Hey guys, it's Sasuke here, and welcome back to XCOM 2. Based on the latest findings. Just got done with the, the um, have always been monsters. From the very beginning, Advent suit mission. It's gonna bring this Advent project down by two. Or it's supposed to, anyway. Boop, 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 boop. Specimen and the destruction of this facility will prove to be a turning point, Commander. Excellent work. Good, good. So we still have the four that we could get rid of the Avatar project if we wanted to. Now it's kind of up to us to see what we want to do. We're pretty much waiting for the supply drop and the sector supply breakdown. So. Let's go get some intel, I guess, while we wait. Okay, well, we get communication coming in for you now, Commander. Nice. Considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. I'm, I'm sure it will. Dude, what is this FPS right now? I turned on... The fuck did I turn on? Desync and frame smoothing? That was a big mistake. I like capture FPS. Actually, let's go ahead and do this too. Oh, he's doing settings while recording? I know. I know. I'm a shameless bastard. Let's try full screen. Full screen normally causes uh, OBS to work a little bit better for some reason. I'm not sure why. It just always has worked for me that way. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing nice. efforts. Gremlin Mark Three. Central claims to have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. What's in there? Right, go ahead and get these supplies. Good stuff. Shut your face. And now, with these extra supplies, we can go Command, build some crap. The lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting any research. Definitely want that Gremlin Mark III. Us with a directive as soon as possible. We need Illyrium crystals. All the money, no Illyrium crystals. Feels bad, man. have any engineers. I do want that experimental powered weapon to start though. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Okay, good, good. So that'll be done in like eight days. What else were we gonna do? We were about to do something. I mean there's nothing in the idols, so there's nothing in there, so let's go ahead and start up. To find that the aliens were conducting questionable experiments involving human capital at the black site we raided with the help of local resistance um like no intel we don't really have anything going for us right now need a lyrium crystals hey let's go get some intel at least because wherever this next mission pops up we're gonna need to be able to get there we have two we can get rid of, and four are really close, so if we absolutely have to, we uh plenty of things. No Lance is, like, godlike. I can't wait to show you that guy. Man, No Lance is so fun. It deals, like, a billion damage. <laughs> the problem is we don't have the Mark III thing yet. Extract VIP. We get 102 intel, plus the scientists. Who cares about the scientists? The main thing we care about is the intel. Very difficult mission, huh? I like how this is very difficult, and the last mission we went on was just a difficult mission. Classic. Man, this FPS we're getting is, like, miserable. Why Why is the FPS so bad today? One second. All tabbing, baby. Let's all tab. Let's close out of this. Close out of this, because I'm not uploading. Close out of that, because screw you. Go into here and boost this. It's like the least professional shit I've ever done. 
Nah, I can't. I can't even say that. I've done worse. This is some of the some of the less professional thing things I've done. But I prefer the quality to be a little bit better than anything else. All right, that should be good. I think I just need to restart my PC after I record this. Let's see if we got any FPS increase at all. Looks like a fatty no, baby. Let's go. I think we are good though. Same team as last time, so really nothing to change. Kind of wish we had the crystals to buy the scrap though. Look at this. I have enough money for everything, not enough crystals. So we have to do another mission with low level weapons, which is pretty unfortunate because at this point we need those high level weapons. At least we got that upgraded gremlin though, which is going to make hacking a lot easier. It also increases the amount of damage you deal if you have the damage version of the gremlin, or it increases the amount of healing you do, so it's actually really, really, really good to have. Is it more useful than a weapon? Uh, probably not, considering if we bought the rifles, we'd have at least two people's rifles. Let's see, we have six wheel, one shotgun, one sniper, one of two are cannons. So we'd have two of them, yeah. It's not too bad. Stay alert for hostile contacts. The worst, the worst value proposition is the sniper because don't get me wrong, it's nice to have the extra damage. But at the same point, you're only buying a weapon for a single person. Whereas nearly everybody else, you're probably gonna have two of them on your mission most of the time. You only have one sniper 99% of the time on your mission, so it just feels bad. I had some stutter in the last video, man. That stuff made me real salty. Cause like it, it distorts the voice. If it goes beneath like 10 FPS. It distorts the audio of the recording, and it's just, oh, it's so annoying. That's a lot of enemies. Holy crap. How many turns do we have? If we have, like, eight, I'm not too worried. Is that a pigeon? That's totally a pigeon. We start... Concealed? Advent already knows we're here, no. so your position That's isn't bad. concealed for the extraction. We have twelve turns though. Let's move already. It really sucks Figure that we're now. not concealed though, to be honest. Uh, I'm going. Sure thing. I'm on it. When we get that experimental uh, super weapon or whatever, we're gonna be real happy. Especially if there's two of them that I want. There's one that's like this giant cannon. Holy crap, are we really about to fight a first turn guy here? On my way. Sniper, where you at? Throw in the hook. Throw in the hook, baby. Let's go. Where are we going? What's up here? Nothing, huh? Moving to designated coordinates. What's over there? A little scary to do this to get vision inside that place, but no problem, jefe. On your order. Next turn is when it's all about a kickoff. Because our snipers about to get a lot of vision, and these guys are about to go through this building. We like hear them, they're right over that corner. Okay, so they we just they just walk into us. And they're gonna get a full overwatch trap. Nice. This is really, really, really nice for us. Nice heads. They're, they're one grenade from dying. We might not even waste a grenade on him, actually. I'm trying to think how I want to handle this. I think I'm going to do the rocket on him. Can I make that rocket hit both? I don't think so. Even at a better position, I don't think this rocket's gonna hit both. It's gonna be a little shy. 
by a little I mean quite a bit shy. Yeah, it's about right there. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grenade this up. Let's just go ahead and finish these two off. It's one grenade. We still have plenty left. Did that destroy our cover? That's the question. Because if this destroyed our cover, that means that we can't move forward. It did destroy our cover. So we can barely move forward because if we encounter the sectopod this turn and he activates and has a full turn to get position on us, we lose. So unfortunately, we can't actually move any further than this right now. Because I hear him. So we pretty much wasted this turn with that grenade, which is really, really unfortunate. I mean, we killed a pod, so every time you kill a pod, you're not wasting the turn. It just feels kind of bad. This is probably going to give us vision of something here. Hmm. I'm on the move. Yeah. Wish I could see in this building. On the move. Okay. We're making some moves here. How far do we need to actually go? That's not too bad. We have just this corridor to cover and probably a sectopod and something else. There should be a higher hacking chance too. Yeah. 84%, I had a really, really hopeful chance for that happening. The supplies are nice, we aren't really in need of them anymore, I mean, we could always go with a few more utility items with our extra stuff we're making, but... Kinda just hoping this enemy face checks us, honestly. Doesn't look like we're gonna get that lucky. Alright, we find him. Alright, it, it is definitely a very, very scary pod. Hmm. Get ready for a surprise. I'm gonna try to burst him down. I think we have what it takes. Those two are poisoned, so I think both of them are dead, if I'm not mistaken. That took down a little bit of his armor. On your order. Just in case, I know this guy's dead, he's poisoned with 1 HP. I'm pretty sure it does too, but just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and grenade this guy just cause he's, he's in range for the grenade to hit anyway. Nice, we got that fatty 5 on him. Is he... Okay, this is fine. I'd rather just go ahead and finish this guy off than leave him up. We could, I don't know, maybe we should try to feed this XP to somebody actually. Cause there's quite a few people that still need it. There's no way this can kill, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm hoping for the eight rolls, that would've want. The six roll. Five should be enough, right? We do what, four to eight? Five to seven, perfect. Alright, we went out and fed that XP to a character that could use it. Didn't necessarily need it, but, you know. The difference between needing and being able to use something are pretty diff- for pretty small, actually. So, we can just go ahead and blow up the grenade in this guy's pocket, or we can dominate him. He's gonna die either way. Um... You don't need XP at all. Like, you- can't physically use XP. Is there anyone who can? Info Broker's max level. I guess there's not. We'll just take a pop shot out. Why not? I'm pretty sure he's dead. If he's not dead, I'm gonna be salty because he could kill our fucking. We'll do a no rush just in case. Alright, that pod wasn't too bad. It seemed scarier than it really was. Yeah, he's dead from the poison. Ooh, promotion! Yeah! Nice. Nice, nice. Who just leaves their car running in the middle of nowhere like that, though? It sounds like an Andromedon is out there. 
It could be a mech, but I'm pretty sure it's an Andromedon. Moving out. Absolutely. Little bit of lag on this map. I don't know why this map always lags though. Why are they just slowly walking away? Oh wow, did we really pop that pod? Damn, I really felt like we didn't pop that pod. We're just gonna mind control this Andromedon. And we'll just leave him on the field. I don't even feel like killing him and getting a second form out of the way. 200% shots, but you always gotta remember that those guys can actually avoid your stuff. I think we're just gonna double grenade this pod and leave. Pretty sure this is the last pod anyway. They can't dodge grenades, so. They will get Battle Fury or Blood Rage or whatever it's called. Battle Frenzy. Close, man. Everything but the right fucking thing. Moving to position. Hopefully we have the position for this. Should be. Should be about the same. Yeah. So we can do that, or we can do this. How much HP do they have? They both have four. We actually can't? What? There it was. Where was it? There's like one square here. Go ahead and shoot him with a rocket. Pop. Multiple targets down. Got it, moving. Tired of waiting around. On Overwatch. We have plenty of time. I mean, best slash worst case scenario, um, we trigger another pod with the Andromedon right there. I wish we could distract him. So just get him out of there. Solid copy. I'm a little concerned that there might be a faceless. I don't know. I don't know why. I just. I feel like there is one around here. Maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. I just get that feeling, man. Okay. Can you just get out of here? Nice. Let's go ahead and make sure we get you on the very edge there. How about you? You can as well. I'm all over it. You can as well. You cannot. You can't, you're so close. Other other two units, please. You can and you could, but we're not going to make you leave yet. Okay, first things first, go ahead and use your acid bomb just in case something goes wrong here. I just want to get rid of it mostly. Maybe we should just kill this unit. Yeah, let's just kill him. Let's go ahead and put him right here. Let's go ahead and get the MVP or MVP, rally. the VIP out of here. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. He's technically huh. pretty much no way that's gonna happen. You perform some kind of magic here. I swear there's like a little, just a tiny. 
tiny, tiny bit. Guess not. Well, probably just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way here. That's critical. Nice. Critical, wow. Just making sure we have enough units here. Pretty sure we do. Damn, that's so cool, man. It's only really good on armorless targets, though, so who isn't max level? You got promotion, I'm pretty sure. You are max level. You don't get levels. You don't even have salvo yet, do you? What's this? That's not salvo. Yeah, you need the you need the XP. Go ahead and grab it, buddy. Another crit. Holy crap, we're just going off. Target eliminated. Strangely enough, they didn't say that that was everybody though, so it is a little a little interesting. And before three sectopods come over the fucking corner. They're in before the suit wakes up again. Pretty, pretty sure you're fine there, buddy. I swear if she caught on fire. Nope, rage quit. <laughs> Ult at four, can't handle it. I'm out. Nicely done. Killed all the units. I just made sure to go ahead and get the XP. I mean, why not? It's a free kill. We had, like, all members there. If he was out of position and we did that, it could have been bad because he could have his second form could have survived long enough to go in and hit somebody. But instead, we kind of just took it slow and cool and uh, put himself put the enemy in a position where he couldn't do anything about it. And since he was flanked by a shotgunner, our shotgunner had like the free extra three damage you get or whatever from the. Uh officer training school which is not that's not what it's called in this game but that's what I still call it in my brain we do need to buy a couple things I want to make sure we can afford the weapons before we purchase them but we do need to buy a few things from that training school namely we need the grenade skin crit from our grenadiers I think we already bought extra sniper aim didn't we I'm not sure I like Rupture because the deal is critical. But Saturation Fire is really good too because it aims at everybody in a nice little area. We'll do one Saturation and one will go Rupture. Yeah, we already got Salvo now, which is really, really strong. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across we, the world. We didn't get any crystals or anything, did we? No. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think so, but I was like mostly hoping so. We got some intel, so I'm gonna go be like super, super greedy. Actually, I'm just gonna go do that. <laughs> I was about to just go over here and buy some for intel, but if you're just gonna give me some for some time, I, I got time, baby. I got all the time in the world. What the fuck? Oh, okay, that was decrypting the codex brain. I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. Nice, we're only However, one away from that. It was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Hmm. Alrighty. It's a remote region, out in the woods, away from any populated areas. New facility. South Africa. That's only one. That's not bad. We can clear that up if we need. I honestly don't think we need to. Okay. Suit done. Go ahead and unlock this as well. Just go ahead and flesh out all the projects since we're here. Psionic training done, no lance. Now we get that rift, baby. Yeah! God, the rift is so good! 
It makes me sad that we didn't upgrade our Psy Labs to do two at a time, because we definitely want to. Aw, oh, man. Do I got to boss? Do I got to? Actually, I'm not going to lie. We need that intel. But we still don't get our freaking weapons yet. Give me those weapons, you bastards. <laughs> Pokey dokey, I guess. Honestly, maybe we should just go full mind shield. <laughs> just make it impossible for the enemies to RNG win. Because if they were to steal one of our high ranking people, like especially a grenadier or something, and then grenade our whole squad, yeah, that could be pretty bad. Oh, I'm sorry, Rachel Ray. I like you and all, but you're just you're just a Rachel Ray. You're just a Rachel Ray on top of the hill, getting waiting to be made into a law. I don't think we even need to change anything. Do we have anything we can put on these guns, maybe? Yeah, it'll say weapon upgrade if you can't. Wait, this is Rachel Ray, isn't it? Damn it, Rachel Ray! Like, but I just wanted, just want to help. I know you want to help, and I appreciate it. But I'm looking to see if anybody who's active needs better stuff on their guns. And if they're already, if they already have stuff in their guns, I'm not gonna take it off and try to upgrade or anything. I don't care enough to do that. All right, let's go. Good enough for me. Is good enough for you? Is good enough for me? So I'm going to be doing another series on XCOM 2, by the way. It's going to be a much higher difficulty, probably the third difficulty out of the four. And uh, we're going to be using a bunch of mods as well to make it more interesting. A couple mods I'm going to be using, just uh, right off the top of my head. All the convenience mods, of course, those are by far a must in my opinion. On top of that, we're going to be using... Um, the weapon loot box mod where when stuff drops there's a chance it'll drop a loot box that you can uncover via research time and get goodies from it. Um, I like that idea a lot. It helps in the late game when you get those freaking extra intel drops and you're like well what am I going to do with this? I have everything unlocked. There's no reason to do anything. Or you don't have anything to research either. I mean I don't really care anymore. The only thing we have to research is the one thing we haven't found yet which there's one more enemy type I think there's only one more enemy type we haven't found yet. Wow, that's not bad at all. At, wow, we started with so much. That feel when you start with concealment and the thing really close feels good. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. We probably won't do it on this turn, even if we have the chance, just because if it's the thing that makes, yeah, it allows people to know where we are. Probably going to be trying this one next turn. We could reduce enemy will so they're easier to use psi skills on, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. This last enemy that we find, if we find him here, um... It's the one that allows us to get the highest level of Psy equipment. And it does something else too. I can't remember. Those sound like just normal soldiers. Sounds like they're to our front left-ish? Yeah. Probably gonna move into position and then grenade these guys. units that I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to have in the overwatch trap it's kind of unfortunate alright so what we're going to do is 
First things first. We're just gonna Wait, move here. Now. We're going to attempt the disorient. I'll give it a shot. It should it should go through, it's like eighty six percent or something. But if it doesn't go through, we have peel in position with overwatches, and we have our more important units ready to shoot at them. Yep, it went through. Good stuff. You got probably like a 40 roll or something there. It looked like 40-something-ish. I don't think this will alert the enemies, but with them disoriented, they'll miss all their shots more than likely. Looks like... Ooh, there's a gatekeeper. There is one in this mission. That's actually really good to know. Which means we... Yeah, this is the only gear. This is the only grenade we're gonna use then. Gatekeepers have a lot of defenses. Gatekeepers have a lot of good stuff going for them. Period. Oh, we should have went to the thing and bought the critical grenades. Damn it. Oh, that's bad. Man, I need to remember to do that. This guy's gonna Overwatch, and that guy's disoriented. I think we're just gonna kill him with this. Yeah, let's just go ahead and kill him. And this, think about this, th this thing gets more damage when we get the third level. Holy crap, that's so strong. Alright, we're like right on this container. I don't think they're gonna move if they're disoriented. I'm pretty sure that's something. Alright, we encounter another pack of enemies. Who is it? A Archon and a Muton. It's not bad. We're probably gonna steal this Muton though. If I can get in range, I'm gonna steal this Muton. We might just double grenade them actually. Because they're right beside this car. Oh, that's the thing. We can't show that shit. Sadly, there's not really like too much we can do here. Pretty bad positioning. On my way. I, I honestly didn't expect to encounter Easy enemies clear. here, to be 100% like honest. I believe they're gonna get a turn next turn, and since they've already encountered us and we couldn't get a nice position on them, yeah, they're no longer disoriented. Hey, gave us free info on where the other guys are though. That's good. So these guys get a free turn. Pretty unfortunate, honestly. I mean, we get a little bit of damage on them, but or we get attempted damage on them. Mm, Blazing pylons. Right, this he flies into the sky for this, and he puts a bunch of explosives down, and we just have to move out of the way. It's not a. It's actually probably his weakest attack. The problem is he gets a real nice high ground advantage on you. The guy just overwatched. So, somebody who can not be hit by Overwatch would be nice here. Where's our... Storm gun? There we go. Set him up, knock him down. Location I'm just gonna go ahead and run here and one-shot this Muton. I mostly wanted the Overwatch removed, but I just I couldn't really get in position to do anything else anyway. So what we're doing is we're just getting out of this area pretty much. This should be far enough away. Unless this explodes, and I don't even think it would do anything even if this did explode. We're just gonna dominate this guy. Not because I really want him, just because like he's there. I mean. There's probably no chance of dominating anything else this mission, because there's only two more units after this. So, you know. 
We got that going for us. If you're out of harm's way, just need to move out of here. You're implacable, implacable, whatever the fuck it's called. Next soldier? Really? Did I use you? No, I didn't. Game? Wh why you lie? Hey, it blew up the car, but it didn't do anything to us. And he flew down to Earth real fast. Is he in his own fire? Top of the okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm on a car. Explosion? Question mark? Oh. I don't even feel like encountering this next pod yet. I'm just gonna overwatch everybody and then hack this door or open it, whatever we need to do next turn. Send the person in. Alright, they're calling him back up, that's not bad. They're like right in the line of fire, so. Honestly, they're just killing themselves, so whatever. I know, I'm like staring at it. This is Avenger. We have positive uh, Jesus the Christ. To acquire. I know, I'm looking at it. In. I'm like on top of the objective, and he's like, hey, there's an objective there. What is that roll? That's like a 80 something. Large cache of intel, yes, yes. All the intel. Alright, so that was free. Good stuff. Does this activate the other pod? It wow it did. That's kinda scary. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species we've seen. It also gives up very strong psionic readings. This is actually pretty good for us though. You want to see those fatty techniques right here? Watch this. It's gonna place gas right where these enemy soldiers are gonna land. Shred that armor. Shred that armor. Shred that armor. No. Yes. On your order. Even when these things come in next turn, they're just gonna... Not only are they going into the poison, but they won't even have a turn initially. I'm gonna try my 50-50 here with our unit. Damn. Unfortunate. Hmm. Any more grenades? No. No running gun either. Absolutely. That's 14 HP, that's a lot of health. This would be nice to hit. Oh my god! What is that damage? What the hell, man? What a monster. Hey, our sniper didn't take their turn yet. Game. Game. This is the most annoying thing ever when it locks you into this, so... Look, I can't even move. That's such bullshit. I just have to end my turn even though my sniper doesn't get the, get the free overwatch. So stupid. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I mean, it's just two normal soldiers there. Oh, it's not two normal soldiers. I lied immediately. It 
They should be poisoned immediately. Yeah, both of those are poisoned. Okay. This should be pretty simple. That guy's poison, this guy is whatever. I mean, I want to activate the Overwatch, by the way, if you're wondering. Because it may attack this guy in the butt. He's like, why is my friend murdering me again? That doesn't seem right. Here I, come. I hope this doesn't line of sight me to that guy. No, we still have line of sight. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of his shield. No, what's the shot percentage looking like here? 100, 100, okay. It's actually fine then. Go ahead and get rid of the shield right here. I should have angled the grenade to hit that guy too. The um, quote unquote friendly. Actually kind of curious, if I use face off to hit him, would he target every single ally? <laughs> I think it's a little scary to think about, but would that not be ridiculous? I don't think it works that way, but I've been wrong before. Every visible enemy. Let's see if he just does it automatically. Or she, rather. Keep calling her a he. Feel bad. No, didn't shoot at him. Oh, I wanted to, you know, de defeat that one guy, but it's fine. And what? We got wounded. I, I don't even remember anybody being wounded. Is it because our Archon got hit? Who was under fire? But, okay, let's go over this. The gatekeeper didn't shoot. We stole the Archon. We killed the troopers instantly. We one-shot the Muton. We killed that first pack instantly as well. What happened? Who got wounded? I'm so confused. I'm dazed and confused. Alright, well, I'm sure they'll show me. Maybe I'll remember once I see. Active, 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 active. No wounded. Liar! So we're gonna go restoration. Fly to every single unit on your team and heal them. Really good. They keep her autopsy. Outstanding job leading the resistance commander. Oh, how much longer? I am in five days by the idea that despite the codex's best efforts, assorted loot. You know, we gotta check that out. It's just called assorted loot. What is it? I don't know. It's just loot, it could be anything. It's not really what I wanted. Strategic resource located. Good, good. Not now, not now. Let's go check out this assorted loot. It's like grab bag of loot. <laughs> What's in it? Grab bag of stuff. What's that? Anything you want it to be. Sign it complete. We have void drift done. Let's go with Salas. If anybody gets mind controlled or something, we can go ahead and knock that off of them. I think that's a pretty valuable skill to have. Because that's pretty much our biggest scary thing, honestly. Central, Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. 
The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an Elder? Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration, rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The elders have They're using our goop to fix their goop. For a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. Codex are like easy as crap now, huh? I'm pretty sure we can do whatever. Use skull jack on a codex. Easy. It looks like we've got our well, work cut. Not up easy, for us, but <laughs> Hello, Commander. This spec five days for the gatekeeper. Let's go ahead and check out this assorted loot. Superior hair trigger and a focus. Cool. We're not in need of supplies right now, so let's probably go ahead and make contact. Probably with this place because it has the mission first. Setting course for the West African sector. I'm pretty sure the gatekeeper's the last thing we're gonna need to research for the rest of the game. Regional contact. Alright, Avatar Project is well underway. We're probably going to end this episode a little early, just because we don't have enough time for a mission, but as you can see, we don't have very much time at all. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, we've made contact. We're ready to move on the coordinates we pulled from the Codex. Setting course for sector five. Let's go ahead and scan a little bit. Alright, Salas is done. That's the we can do stasis just cause. Just cause. It just does. Gatekeeper autopsy is now I done made too. A number of interesting discoveries. Alien science. I have come to suspect that this creature's unusual appearance is somehow directly connected to its notable psionic aptitude. The aliens always have some reasoning to their actions. So go ahead and get the plasma Even lance, the plasma rifle. To be. Commander. That's the SMG version. Don't need that. Alright, so those two things done. Now the only thing we need is the alien psyamp. Think about these mine these mine shields. Much longer on our proving ground stuff, though. I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the Other elders are dying more. off. If anything, morale probably got a boost once word spread outside of the senior staff. We could really use some malarium cores. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and. Ah, fuck, I didn't want to go here. I wanted to go to the black market. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna go to the black market and look, see if they have some Illyrium cores. I don't know if you can even buy Illyrium cores. I know you can buy Illyrium crystals, but I don't know if you can buy Illyrium cores. Like I said, normally we'd be happy to buy these and open them up, but the mod is glitched right now because it's so late in the game that you have to start a fresh game for it to work. Well, I guess we actually don't need anything, and is there anything we want to sell? 
I need this exosuit. Because uh, if anything, I just want another war suit. I mean, we don't even need the money, though, so let's not even waste it. Well, I believe that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you guys like to hit that like button, let's know you're enjoying the series and all the good stuff. If you guys are, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I read and respond to every single one. On top of that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Recommend it to anyone who may be interested. And hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole damn world. See you guys.